4 in Unit 7. This is the Validate Password Assignment. So our instructions are to write an application that prompts the user for a password that contains at least two uppercase letters, at least two lowercase letters, and at least two digits. After a password is entered, display a message indicating whether the user was successful or the reason the user was not successful. And they give you an example here. If a user asks, enters P4SS word, your program should output valid password. So those are the instructions. So now let's declare our variables. I go here on line six. And I'm going to replace this with, I'm going to just call it a string. Now my next variable, I'm going to uh, call it string late length, and I'm going to have it return an integer. Now I want to uh, use a constant, so I'm going to call this constant num. Go to final, int num, constant is always capital letters, is equal to 2. Okay, next one I'm going to do is I'm going to call that upper, upper count and I want it to return an injure. I also want a, a lower count, and it's going to return an integer. So now I want to count the number of digits. So I'm going to uh, integer for that one. Next, they're going to count how many letters they put in here, so I'm going to call that letter count and return an integer. So now I'm going to uh, input a scanner. So now the number of spaces I'm going to set to zero, return an integer. So now I want to have a check to see if it's okay to repeat or not. So a yes or a no thing, it, is, it takes a boolean. So I'm going to set that automatically to true. Now I'm all ready to prompt my user to answer password. So I come here on line 17, or I can delete line 16, and I want a do loop. Okay, this is going to be a loop because I want to loop through the password to check to see that it's okay. I put in here do. Of course, of the do loop, I automatically have a opening curly brace. 
Now I want to prompt the user to enter a string. So he's going to try and do a password. I'm going to do whatever he's going to return me I, I call it a string so I go a string is equal to the next line So now I've got to determine how long that string is for my string length. So I'm going to run that command to get the string length. Now why am I getting the string length? Because I have a for loop, because I want to go through that um, password the user is giving me one letter at a time and check to see if it's right. So in order to do that, I need to run a, uh, I need to know how long the string is for, to know when to stop, right? So I'm going to put in here, here's my for loop, for what? Where do we start? We start at the first place, so that's int i is equal to zero. So where do we end? As long we, we keep running this as long as um, i is less than the string length. Then we're going to increment it um, one letter at a time, so it's I++. So now we have another curly brace, opening curly brace. I'm checking each character by character. So the first char, call it CH, is equal to A string. And we're going to check the char at position i. What are we doing? We're setting ch to where we're at in the string. Where we're at, we're checking the password. What letter are we at? We're going to check to make sure it's uppercase. So we're going to add to the uppercase count, so uppercase, now we're putting our else in here, the character is lowercase. We're checking that particular character. We're going to add to the lower count. Now we have one more else statement. C 
So if the character is a digit, We're going to add to the digit count. No, I forgot a semicolon on this line. All right, let me come on down. This ending curly brace here. Now I come between these two ending curly braces and I can put another if clause. So now I'm going to say if the upper count is greater than or equal to 2, but I have in here my constant instead of 2, if the upper count is greater than or equal to num and the lower count is greater than or equal to num and the digit count is greater than or equal to num, so we're going to have something come up. Okay, so I'm going to put here if upper count okay, is greater than or equal to num and lower count is greater than or equal to num and digit count is greater than or equal to num if all these are true well they got a plus here instead of an uh, equals Same here. If all these are true, put opening and closing curly braces. I can put that here, system out. Got print line. You have it say valid password. So now do I have to repeat? Nope, this is false. So I put repeat is equal to false. I don't have to do this again. So now I'm going to come here after the closing curly brace and I can put my else statement. Else what? Do opening and closing curly brace. We're going to have them tell them that password did not have enough of the following. If upper count is less than num, we're going to print out system out print line uppercase letters
So now we're going to check to see uh, didn't have enough lower count numbers. If lower count is less than two or num. If that's true, we're going to say we didn't have enough lowercase numbers. Okay, so the last one is, how about, but we're checking the digit count. If the digit count is less than numbers, less than two, what if there's not enough digits? We'll tell them it's the digits that they need. So I come on down. I could end this on my next line. Um, I'm going to put here while repeat is not equal to true. While well, repeat is equal to true. Run this again. I get rid of these words. So I ran my code and I checked for mistakes and I found several. Um, basically, most of them were. Uh, not capitalizing the whole num. So make sure that you've done that. I also made a mistake and um, didn't cap. I capitalized the while it should be lowercase. In a couple places, I put a colon instead of a semicolon. So when you run your code, that should identify for you your errors. And uh, if you if you've done everything like this, it should turn out fine. Okay. So when you finish everything. We should just drag over here. Right click copy. Bring up um, notepad. Paste it in notepad. Go file. Save as. Call it password. Dot Java. Turn it in and you're all done. Very good job.